Hello, my name's Roger, and if you love second-hand books, you'll love the person I'm going to speak about. His name's F.W. Borum. He was a prolific writer, wrote over 56 books. If you can get them all, you're doing really, really well, and people do set out to try and get a complete collection. He was born in Tunbridge Wells. He lived a long, full life, dying only in 1959. When he was a little boy, his nanny was taking him out, and a gypsy was passing by who stopped looked at his hand and said, tell his mother to put a pen in his hand and he'll never want for a living. Well, that prophecy became absolutely true in the life of F.W. Borum. His parents were Christians and they taught him not only to love reading, but to love the Bible. He read a book every week throughout his whole life and often exceeded that quota as well. So he became a voracious reader and it stuck in his mind so that eventually when he started writing people were fascinated and gripped by all that he was saying. He eventually went as a, a, a Christian minister to New Zealand and ministered there for several years then he went to Tasmania and Australia but his writing spread throughout the world. He wrote essays and his books really are just collections of essays which are marvellous because you can dip in and just have you know five minutes with one essay and it will stimulate the mind for the rest of the day. It, it's hard to choose which one's the best. You know he, he wrote on the man in the moon or uh, maxims of the mud or wet paint, or baking bread. They're all so different, and you never know quite where he's going when you start to read. I, I love this particular one. It's called I Forgot to Say, and it's one of his very latest ones, and oh, it's just full of fascinating things. He has, he has a chapter on the long arm of coincidence, and he gives all sorts of unusual stories. He was crossing Australia by train, and the guard came along and said, excuse me, are you the Reverend F.W. Borum? And of course he said, yes, I am. And the guard said, well, at the last uh, railway station, a telegram was left for you. So he gave Borum this telegram, which he opened and read. And then eventually Borum went running down the corridor of the old train, found the guard and said, this is fascinating. It is indeed for the Reverend F.W. Borum, but it's not for me. I don't understand. A little while later, the guard came back and said, do you know, there's another F, F. W. Borum who was a reverend on the train and it was for him. And it goes through coincidences and then tries to get some meaning from it. It's wonderful. To select one of the, the books or one of the essays is like selecting a beautiful rose from a large bu bouquet of roses. But I recommend Borum. You'll find him stimulating. He'll, he'll leave your mind questioning. He deals with the big issues of life, but from an angle that we don't ever get on the BBC. Reverend F. W. Borum. Look for him. If you can get him at a good price, you're doing well. But if not, buy him anyway. You'll enjoy him.